Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa, Best Life Lee. Well, this weekend, Bob and I went to a local flea market not too far from our house. We took a ride down. I'm gonna show you what the foliage looks like at this time of year, the end of October. It's really starting to kind of come to its end. We still have some color, but it's mostly now dark browns and whatever's left of the colorful yellows and reds. But I will show you a little bit of the ride down to um, the Rainham Flea Market. And I'm just gonna show you a, what I picked up while I was there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I was looking for something to create a little decor in my bedroom, in my bedroom bureau. It's kind of blah right now. I mean, it, it, I kind of just have what I created when we moved in, but I really wanna spruce it up and I wanna give it some, you know, sense of style, my own style, what I love, things that will, you know, make me feel good when I look at it. So I did pick up four things for that area with that in mind. So I will show you the outcome of the decor in the bedroom. But what I wanted to do is just share a couple things that I picked up. And this flea market has been around in this area for as long as I can remember. And Anytime I go on a trip or to a different place, I love to check out the flea markets like I did when I was in Waco at Magnolia. We went to the Cedar Chest, which was so cool. I just love all of the nostalgic things or things that are local to that area that people have donated or collected over the years. So it's really a neat thing to do and fall is a really good time to do that because you want to do more indoor things and you just feel like getting um, reacquainted with your own home so you can pick up one or two things but you can also pick up things for gifts for the upcoming holiday season which i did pick up um, one thing that i'm gonna put into a holiday basket which i will show you in a future video but I wanted to show you, so you can always find some homemade or I should say created DIY type things. And one of the things that I love the leather leaf earrings that Joanna Gaines has on the Magnolia home. And you've seen me with the black ones, they're leather, but she has a lighter color that you can't find any more on her website. The lighter brown is no longer available. And she also, Joanna does a lot of wood um, earrings. So these earrings I picked up and I thought that they were reminiscent of the leaf earrings and the color that I would love to have for fall. It also goes really, they go really well with my hair color. They stand out, but they're made out of wood and then I picked up another pair. They were two pairs for $5. Now you can't go wrong because the leaf earrings that you get, I bought a pair of wood earrings when I was in Magnolia home and um, at the silos and they were a lot more than $5, I can tell you that. But I also on the leaf motif picked these up. These were the two that I got for $5. And there were so many to choose from and it was just so fun. Um, and it was nice to be able to give to these people who create and sell their own wares. So I got that and that um, in, in the same vein of jewelry, I got this wonderful bracelet. It, it look, it's probably not real sterling, but it certainly looks like a real sterling. It's beautiful and I love, it reminds me, I don't know if any of you are like me, but back in the day, I haven't done this in years, but back in the day, I took a few belly dancing classes for, they were like exercise classes and they were belly dancing and I absolutely loved, loved, loved it. And this bracelet reminds me of the belly dancing, um, where you wear the thing around your waist and it has little 
things that make this kind of a noise. So I just absolutely love this. And this was only $5. And so I know it's quite busy, but in the fall and winter, when you have your long sleeves on, it kind of makes just like a pretty little cuff. Um, and you could kind of, you know, hide it if you have, you know, not hide it, but kind of cover it a little bit so it doesn't look like it's hugely gaudy or whatever. I think it's cute. I love to hear the little jingle jangles whenever I move. So yeah, $5 and I, you know, absolutely love it. So in keeping with people who create their own products to sell and supporting that, there was a woman there who made her own pillows and this pillow says, I love you all over it. It's a beautiful pillow for the bed, I thought, and it was only $10 and I picked up two pillows. Now, they're really nice pillows. When people make their own products, they usually put a lot more care and love into their products. So this is a really nice pillow. And another pillow that I got, which is going to be for my um, grandson who loves the little shark bites or baby sharks, whatever they're called. This is so cute. It's different on one side and it's again, just such a nice pillow, quality made for $10. And the quality is fantastic. Now, if you buy a pillow at TJ Maxx or Walmart, you're not gonna be able to find one for under probably 30 or at least 20, $25. So two for 20, that's a great buy. And that's one of the things that you can really find at these indoor flea markets. Another thing that I got before I show you what I got to decorate my bedroom with is some handmade soap. Now these, again, you're supporting people who are creating things out of their own heart and soul. And I just love to be able to do that. I could go to any store, like go to TJ Maxx and buy goat milk soap, but this is by a person who um, is creating these. There, This is a creator called Mish and she, um, is using products of Africa and America and they are goat milk soap with essential oils. Um, and I got Ocean Breeze and Lavender. So I will put the lavender in my own soap dish because I love lavender. And I will give the Ocean Breeze as a gift this Christmas. I'm gonna be making some gift baskets as I mentioned. And this will go in one of the gift baskets. And what I will do is I will take the wrapper off and I will tie a bow around it and it will be, a, you know, you can smell it in the gift basket and it will just be a really extra special. So you can find things like that, different things that people make by hand. All right, and last but not least, what else I picked up are these adorable plates. And they're small little plates and they have the, um, green color of my the the bureau and end tables that I made uh, that I painted um, before the move and these are Courier and Ives which everyone has probably heard of Courier and Ives you know the the cards the Courier and Ive pictures of the winter scenes these are all the seasons. This is summer. This is fall. Aren't they just absolutely gorgeous? I love them. And this is winter. There's your typical Courier and Ives scene. And this is, and there's your spring. Beautiful. And the set of four were only $15. And they're just for decorative use, but I think they're so pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna put them on the wall. I saw another YouTuber use 
double-sided tape to put her plates on the wall. I'm gonna use my Alien tape, which is really strong and will hold these up. And I'm gonna do a little um, scenery on the wall with these plates. So I will show you that in this video. So that is what I picked up at the flea market this past weekend. So that is what Bob and I did over the weekend. It was an opportunity to go for a ride on a kind of rainy, blustery fall day. It was just nice to get out. Go it was about probably like a 40 minute drive. And we got to talk to people. We got to see some different things. And for under $50, I got all of this stuff. And I'm really loving the jewelry that I got and the earrings. So, um, and then obviously the other little things that I picked up. So I'm gonna take you along as I decide how I'm gonna decorate that bureau in my room and then I will wrap up this video. Let's decorate. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like right now, my bureau and my wall. Well, I have those plates on there. I didn't have them on there before. But you can see that it's just your basic, I don't know, hodgepodge of things. It doesn't really look pretty and there's not too much on the walls here. So I'm gonna take these plates and I am going to arrange them um, on the wall and I'm gonna make this look a little more designer. So let's see what I can come up with. finished look it's a little more less cluttered I think that the the wood vase that I got when I was in um, Ohio with the two orchids um, it looks really great it looks like it's the focal point now I have my my candles and my candle warmer which is a light in the room a little soft light I have the gold picking up the gold picking up the gold um, which is kind of like silverish gold but and then off to the side my little dish with my sea glass and of course my plates and they do have the green 
that picks up the green on my bureau and I think it looks really cute. And what I did was um, I set them up in a, like the song, <laughs> winter, spring, summer, fall. I just really love how it all came out. Let me try to stand back and give you a better view. I mean, the plates are small, but I just really love how they are just a sort of frame to the mirror. I really love this. And all because I picked up those four plates at the flea market. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks so much for coming along. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. I am so glad that you are here. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Have a great week. Take care, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.